Hi everyone, this week we're going to be talking about the first global economic systems. So this is also known as the triangular trade. So economic factors that contributed to the commercial revolution were trade, exploration, colonization, and new financial practices. So the new financial practices were needed to control the huge influx of wealth that was taking place during this time. So the Columbian Exchange was an exchange of plants and animals between Europe and the Americas. And this was named after Christopher Columbus, not the country Columbia, that wasn't there yet um, during this time. And there was some conflict because everyone wanted to have the most power and simply that just cannot happen. There always has to be one either country or person that is at the top of the everything so they have the most power and everybody during this time was just fighting for that um the european expansion led to a dramatic increase in the slave trade this became to be known as the atlantic slave trade and then there was many 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 negative effects of the atlantic slave trade it devastated african communities um it wasn't until the 1790s that France abolished slavery, English did it, the English did it in 1833, and then America didn't do it until 1860. So this was all due to the economic um, situation at the time. And so that is just a really, really brief overview of what we're gonna be talking about this week in the book. So um, read the PDF, read, the chapter on the triangular trade. I have it posted in the weekly folder on Schoology. And then if you take notes from that in this, then you will be able to do your assignment super easily. So I hope you guys had a great um, week and I hope we have one more week and I know you guys can do it. So if you guys have any questions, you know, just message me on Schoology or anything. So I hope you guys are doing well and yeah, I'll see you next time.